Hello guys and welcome to episode 19 of the Bomb Argo Nuts. Today's episode we're going to make our way to the Lake of Age, so let's just get started. Um, we're going to be training up Pam because our last time in the last episode, we kind of got destroyed. And I don't want that to happen again. So we're going to train up Unique Mons. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen again. Because we literally have a party of three. Oh, what's this? Chad, quit calling me. I do not care about you calling me. But we got Shadow Claw. That actually would really be that would be useful for that would be useful for Pam because Pam is an admin. H we did not get strength over here. I thought we did. Whoa, I'm an idiot. Oh boy, sorry I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. Did we got not get an account over here? I'm not 100 percent sure we got an account over here. Huh. Well, I'm going to assume that I. I have got an account over here. Maybe there was an episode where I got lost a bunch of footage. I remember I had a video, uh, video like that where I lost a bunch of footage, but I don't, th I don't, I thought I went over here, but you know what? If we get an account on this route, we haven't already, so I know that for a fact. Look at those apricorns. Oh, do we not have a Pokemon that has cut? No, I'm not doing that. Nope. I love apricorns. We get a super potion. That's dope. We will, uh, we will explore Mount Moto in a uh, video, like by itself probably. But I do want to go through though, because I think Mount Moto actually has really good items. But this is our first encounter, so can we get a Gordine? A Sea King? Is that illegal? I thought Sea King evolved at like level 30. Or Gordine evolved at level 30. Weird, but Pam, <laughs> please run. Please run away from this thing. This thing is a monster. The thing will destroy you, Pam. Why did it go back in the Pokeball? Oh, because we're on water. Yo, that's some unique stuff. That's really unique. That's like some smaller stuff that makes the game even better. Like the fact that we miss um, our poison type move. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear that people are getting a mattress. And the truck is leaving, I think. Or well, moving at the very least. Can we not do this? I, I'm, I'm in a good mood. I'm recording kind of late. It's um, 12.34, which means I need to have this video up by 2. Probably 2.30, but hopefully this doesn't turn into the window got corrupt again. Please, just hit. I'm getting kind of triggered now. Are we having, uh, getting triggered on the way to the Lake of Age? If you come out with Ice Beam, I will kill myself. Whoa. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I did, I, I, I'm sorry. I said a suicide joke. I said I was not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in a good mood and I said that. We can't do anything though. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I, I was like, whoa. Why did I say that? I'm, I'm trying to become positive and everything. Just no suicide jokes. I said that at like episode four, I believe. That I was not going to do any more suicide jokes. Because suicide is not a joke. I maybe I have a flash on screen, but there's a suicide hotline number. Um, call it if you're having suicide thoughts. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we just throw a grip bar and get into the grip bar? It's an episode and a half. It's an episode and a half. You know what? We'll be back. One. Yeah, one. Can we get two? Yeah, we got two. Three. Can we get the? Yes, we got it. Okay, I'll close my door. Finally. That only took 30 seconds. I could have talked over that. But we finally landed the poison powder. Literally once I cut, and I didn't talk, so I'm not going to have that cut in. But I don't like cutting on a let's play because I think a let's play should have all the natural stuff. But Unless I'm going back to heal at the Pokemon Center. I think that should be cut out. But we have Sea King. He's the king. King. Kyle. We got Kyle the Sea King. Kyle the king. I don't know why Kyle went to my mind, but we have Kyle the Sea King. Uh, uh, yeah. See, so we have Kyle the Sea King. Kyle, you're not dead, but you have been transferred to the dead bots because Sea King, you're another water. To okay. What? Are you holding something? <gasps> what? <gasps> what? You found something, but you won't give it to me? Can I please take it? Okay, wow. I bet it's holding a moonstone. I hate you, Pam. It was just, 
Oh, we got a mass potion. Worth it. Worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, let's try to avoid trainers until we get to the rocket thing. I'm gonna probably cut after the first battle on the rocket thing, because I think that it's actually pretty long away. Um, yeah, we can get. Actually, I think, I think this is a new route, but. Is this a new route? I don't think it actually is. I don't think so. Uh, if it is, we're missing out on uh, Marie because I'd rather take the chance of this not being a new route and losing the counter than me to cheat the Nuzlocke Wars and waste time catching this Pokemon. But, um, I was, I'm was i thinking about getting an adhesive so on the quill I can, like, for my audio, by the way. If you guys don't know, and this is your first episode, which it probably isn't, but if it is, hello. I have revolved, revolved issues. We're going to go heal up for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, because Bailey and everything? Yeah. Um, I have revolve issues, and I don't want to throw money at the problem of revolve. I think, or that much money, to get something to like guaranteed get rid of revolve, it's gonna cost me around a hundred, a hundred and ten dollars to get it, and I still have to make the thing, so I have to get fabric and everything, and that's gonna bring actually not that much. Probably gonna be one thirty when I get done, which would be worth it if I wasn't. Look at look at this tree. Look at this tree. That's non-suspicious at all. But it'd be worth it if um, if it was really bad revolve, but it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not like, oh, there's a, like, it's gonna kill you. It was bad. Can we actually just do this? Oh, actually, we can get an account for this route. Team Rocket, okay, can I cancel this? Can I cancel this? I don't want to. Hold it, little Kyoto. The tour is 1,000 Poké Dollars to go through. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Bad jokes again. But we get a new encounter. We also get an item. Let's get the item. We found a mat. Ether. 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 Yeah. Can we get an encounter? What's our encounter on this beautiful route? On this beautiful time of day? It's a giraffe freak. This. This gives me PTSD. This thing right here. So if you guys haven't seen the last episode, I'm going to spoil it. But you probably have if you're watching this. We ran into a draft rig in the Safari Zone, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll catch this and everything. And guess what I did? It fled. Because it's the Safari Zone. Why would you catch anything at the Safari Zone? No, no, no. Welcome to the Safari Zone. You get Pokemon run away. Uh, Pokemon will run away from you, and you will not get an encounter. Also, I went on Silby to look at the encounters after that episode went live. Apparently, uh, I missed a Jigglypuff, and I would have loved to use a Wigglytuff. I want to be honest, I would have loved to use a Wrigley Tough. So I'm kind of sad about that. Um, in the area I was before. Oh no, I think in the area where I got Jaffrig, there was a Wrigley Tough. Well, not Wrigley Tough, but Jigglypuff. Yeah, Jigglypuff. Um, we can go for Poison Battle. Can we actually go for Poison Battle? Oh, the Sleuth. I have been identified. He did not assume Brian's gender. He has identified Brian's gender, which is what everyone should do. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm just major so oh we don't have any more people so okay we're throwing bug boss a uh, fun fact I have to get this video edited in like an hour and 30 minutes actually more like not an hour and 30 minutes I have like 50 minutes to actually, I don't have that much time I have like I have like 30 minutes to edit this which I actually really did last time like I would have got it up by 12 30 or 2 30 and my goal is to get every video out on two. Or so I'm gonna tackle it and it's gonna kill. I'm stupid. Why did I do this? But I'm gonna have my schedule of every day. And I can't release this at like late. I mean I can, but today I also need to get a showdown video. And I also gotta go find a new chill because my chill I used to sit in my um in front of my desk and everything to edit and everything. And just to do anything that involves the internet. Um broke on the side, so the back is like pretty much broken so I can't lean back and it's been holding my um I have neck issues so it's been holding my neck because I can't like have any support because it's on the side that I need the support on so I just need to get into chill and I'm going to some of the old um like you know the resale places that has like chills that they have that have been used but they're really cheap and that's where I originally got my other chair. I went to one of those places and I got it for like $30 and it's lasted me like a year and a half. So it's been a good, really good chill for that price, but I actually really like the chill. It's that I just need to get a new chill and I don't want to waste money, but I know 
that was like a really good bargain to find a chill of that quality because it was like new it was like if you go to Walmart so you buy a chill that's the chill you got it was just already assembled it needed to be tightened up in a couple of places but I did that manually okay we lost this encounter that's great Jeff Frig I'm giving you the middle finger Jeff Frig you are the worst Pokemon ha that has ever been created yeah just die from the poison just die then we get my free experience that didn't even give me a lot of experience. I hate you. I literally hate you. Why? <sighs> Let's just get to the Lake of the Rage. Oh my, he could have turned backwards and all refused running. Let's go get to this area. I'm actually getting really triggered, which is something I don't need when I go record my showdown videos. Oh, this is an encounter. Can we get a good encounter? A magic up. I think that's the only thing we're going to find until we clear off the ring. And... I believe it's um, upgrade the Pokey thing, Majigo, the radio thing, and it will tell us if there's Sinnoh and Hoenn and other generation, okay, Sinnoh and Hoenn ones on this route, and I'm, I'm gonna try to remember about doing that, because you probably can get like a. What is the Gen 4 um, Sinnoh's um, equivalent to Magikarp, but it's actually useful, and that's really good. Luminion? I think it's Luminion, and I don't know what the free evolution is, huh? I'm thinking too hard into it. Or like maybe even a B bath. I love I like myself some um my little tick. I actually think um Luminion has a better design, but it's just really useless. Can we Okay? Okay. I took one second, I was I was gonna go on a speech, but Okay, this 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 thing's triggering me. I'm just triggered. I'm really triggered right now. Imagine being triggered in a Pokemon game. That's me right now. That's me right now. I'm actually like Master of Salt right now. The saltiest person ever alive. Uh, but I have to do my showdown video. I, I don't know if I can on that. But I have to also record a showdown video. And... It's just gonna splash. Why can't I run away? Can I... It has... Hi not hydration. Swift Shrimp, I bet. <sighs> Imagine if Gyarados actually has, um, had Swift Shrimp. That would be wild. Um, can we just go on to Kenny? Um, well, this is not an encounter, by the way. I don't want to count. Actually, this is a static counter, but I'm not gonna count it. The Gyarados. I'm sorry. Yeah, we already have Holy Cop. I believe catching that and then just throwing it on the box and not using it ever again will pretty much make Holy Cop feel like it's useless once it evolves and everything. It just and Holy Cop won't give it all. It won't get the hats we need. But let's just get into the Gyarados. We're shiny hunting for Gyarados. This is our first encounter. Oh my goodness! Look. We have gotten a shiny! Finally, all my entire life! We have gotten a shiny! Oh, I've been waiting my entire life. I've been waiting to get a shiny. And look at it! Today is the day we have went on a journey to find the shiny in our first encounter. One soft reset. I'm sorry. Imagine if it was like the opposite for this Gyarados. Well, there's a chance where you get this Gyarados as a regular like Gyarados, not a shiny Gyarados. I'd shine hunt for that. A normal hunt for that. <laughs> That'd be dope. But uh, this thing is actually really scary. We're gonna go to Kenny. Dragonite. That's. Kenny has a decent amount of HP. It's one away from it being um, a three shot. Like one level up Lily away. Maybe two. Which is great. That bite's not gonna do a lot. That bite did a lot. But we can survive any hit it goes for. I'm gonna soft it. And what's it gonna do? That did nothing. That did absolute nothing. We're in the rain, by the way. I'm gonna abide it and see how much it does. It can like, get a crit bite, actually. Um, I'm, I'm not getting talk down to existence. That was a critical hit. The soft did more. Okay. So, every time I talk about crits, I always get a crit in the game. Oh, like on me. Like, he could've got a crit. Oh. I just talked to in existence. That's great for me. That's what happened in the last episode. I got triggered about that. If we lost Kenny, you guys would have saw, like, I would have ended the episode here. We're like 14 minutes in, 13, probably 14 minutes in, and we've already, uh, we already, oh, uh, we already, um, cut the video. Actually, I'm gonna try to make this shorter. I'm literally just gonna get to the rocket base. This is just a shorter episode, sorry. We actually did the Lake of Us Rage stuff, but... <sighs> also, I have to... I did. So, if anything happens down there, and this turns into a 30 minute video, that's gonna take like an hour to render. 
20 minute video takes about 40 minutes to render. An hour, of, actually that's one only took like 45 minutes, so I guess that's not bad. So since I actually like did like, pro quote fancy effects. It was not fancy at all. It's like the most basic thing, but it was effects. It was effects. That did not need to be in though. It was like when the Pokemon died, they moved it over and opacity goes down and just, yeah, just my stupid basic editing right there. I just noticed my editor just does not take my computer's power at full stink. Poison stink? That's a stab move. I would like my stuff to have a stab move. But that was actually useful. Um, grab to lower the attack of an opponent that might be useful unless it gets a crit, knowing all luck. It's gonna get a crit, but I don't really care about that. I mean, unless. I obtained the red scale. Yay. What a useful item. The red Diodos was activated. As I failed, someone, somebody m must have forced it to evolve. Do you come here because of the wild tales? Your edge, I'm Lance, a trainer like you. Imagine me giving a voice to Lance. I should have done that. I heard some rebelling, so I came here to investigate. I saw the way you battled all your edge. I can tell you that you, I can tell that you are a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Yes. Excellent. It seems like the Lake of Ages magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause. And that's the suspicious souvenir shop. shop. I'll be waiting for you in Mahogany. Okay, I can't believe I got that correct on my first attempt. But you might be like, oh, you're on to Mahogany Town, right? No, 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 no. To end the episode here, you gotta get one thing. And one thing only, we have to go back to Cherry Grove. Look at me, he flew on his Dragonite, I'm, I'm flying on my dead Pidgeotto. Which is uh, exactly what I need. But, we also need to, actually, can we just do this? I know I'm gonna go, no I don't, I don't need, I just need a repel. Uh, so I need to repel, I'm just gonna wait. This is some speedrun strats. Look at that, I did not get one stuff in the grass. Okay, can, can I actually do this? Super repel. Use the super repel. Imagine speedrunning a Pokemon game. I think speedrunning a Pokemon game would be interesting. But I just don't think it's for me. Like, the only games I feel like speedrunning would be platforming games. I feel like that actually has like really good speedrun potential. I saw this. I saw this. This is more potent. Now you might be like, what's in this house? What does this guy do? Well, because I'm a 200 IQ individual, and I believe I got lost one time when I was playing Soul Silver, I went back to this house, and I remember this guy gives me an experience shield for a red skill. Don't know why, I remember that. The entire, like, half this game, I don't know what anything is, but half the other half of the game for st stupid stuff like this, I remember. Huh? That's a red skill. What's that? A red gear dose? That's real. I, I, I want it. Edge, would you kill the trader? I can offer a experience shield I got from, Fred, from Professor Oak. Yep, you got an experience shield. Now, you might be like, wow, you must know where to go, um, must know how the puzzles are in this game. I have no idea. Like, yeah, if I can remember this, you might be, you probably think I know the ice path, uh, puzzle really well. But I'll assure you that you are really wrong, and I have no idea where to go in the ice path. So that's probably going to be an episode called the ice paths. Um, puzzles and it's gonna be 45 minutes of me doing that actually fun fact in my balloon Nuzlocke the sea from um, caves I literally had an episode like a 40 minute episode I think it's actually only 30 or 20 of me going in the sea foam islands and just trying to find the exit it was hilarious but yeah that's all um, and that's episode we're gonna be doing the rocket stuff I was hoping we could do that in this episode but we do the lake of age stuff so we're gonna go into the rocket HQ and then there's gonna be more rocket stuff and then we can go to the ice path and have our own episode of mazes. So if you guys want to see that, you should subscribe because you'll be notified on it. Press the bell if you actually want to be notified because YouTube doesn't hit the subscribe button. It means you want to be notified of that person's uploads. You just want to subscribe to it. It's a fancy little button. It's fancy. The bell icon on the hand is the subscribe button. So yeah. Now if you really like this video, you can like the video by pressing the like button, obviously. But if you dislike this and you think, um, I should do it on my videos on my channel. Press that dislike button. Um, you probably think that. I think that, so I should dislike it, but I don't give myself dislikes or likes because they're pretty much the same. That's engagement, quote unquote, but from YouTube. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.